I've lived 38 going on 39 years on this earth and it wasn't until this year where I found I think my favorite go-to daily coffee like yeah I like all the crazy like horchata lattes or pumpkin spice lattes like that like dessert in a cup drinks but like my go-to daily it was really basic it was just like a regular vanilla latte or regular latte until I was put on Mexican style coffee cafe de olla and um, it's so good because it's like honey and it's cinnamon and it gives me like this um, that spice flavor that I like with pumpkin spice without it feeling too much like a dessert like it feels like it's made in the coffee rather than something that's meant to be like calorie dense so Gio's mom is so nice and she got me my own like instant cafe de olla and I've been drinking this um, with honey and it's so good I don't put creamer because you know you guys know I'm on a bodybuilding prep so I can't have too many calories but I was missing this and what balances out the cinnamon that's in here is something sweet and I'm like oh what can I do what can I do and I always forget I have the best wife in the world and she has all kinds of stuff so I found some sugar-free French vanilla so I'm gonna mix it together and see how it tastes let's put it in here and if you don't have one of these you should this is an instant hot water the water is constantly at 208 degrees so it's very convenient for any hot drinks or um, instant noodles or any or oatmeal like you don't have to boil water against it instant look just hit unlock so it's safe hit the spence boom instant hot water All right, moment of truth. I'm usually not a big fan of artificial sweetener. The only things I've grown accustomed to with the artificial sweeteners is like pre-workout, protein, energy drinks, um, like diet pepper, like pretty much all the like fitness diety stuff. So when it's like a warm drink and it has that artificial sweetener still kind of throws me off, but desperate times calls for in desperate measures, you know what I'm saying? Mmm, French vanilla. That actually smells very, very good. Oh no, don't tell me the cap's broken. No, it is. I have to fix it like tape. So I have to just carefully pour it in like this. Alright. Gotta mix it in little by little so you don't get that crazy syrupy flavor. See. Mmm, not bad. Needs a little bit more. Oh, there goes the aftertaste. But, by the way, did I ever share with you guys where I got these mugs? Alright, so before everything got spilled, what I was trying to show you guys about this mug is actually, uh, I don't know if I share this mug with you guys, but this is my favorite mug in the whole world. We have. I think four of them, maybe. Let's see. Yeah, we got. Yeah, we got maybe three. No, I think we have four. Maybe I broke one of them. But we actually got them at a thrift store for pretty cheap. But I, what I really liked about it, I believe it's like that um, super thick insulated kind. Because any drink you put in here, it stays super hot or super cold, and it's like this German, which I'm kind of scared about the dates. But I figured it's. I don't see any. Um, symmetrical logos on there you know what i'm talking about so it doesn't seem like it's not safe so it just it's just a really cool like vintage mug and it keeps the coffee nice and hot but the verdict is i still don't like artificial sweeteners and my coffee tastes kind of weird so i got these croissant no, i don't even know what these are oh that's like an almond pastry do you see that yeah. how, okay. how come you don't trust it mister He's not Mama made that. It took like nine hours. You know that? Yeah, they're almond croissants. It doesn't look appetizing. I got. I got. I agree. Uh, with them. so the way they were. Funded, oh, if it's on the picture. Oh, because you got to toast it yeah, again. Yeah, yeah. Look, so they come like really tiny, and yeah. you have to let them sit in room temperature for like nine rice? hours. Oh. Uh, then it rose to this, but then by the time it was nine hours, he was already going to bed. So then, um. Yeah, yeah if it looked like that fridge. picture, it would look good. But I put it in picture. the fridge. Yeah, if it looked like that. No, that looks. To sit in room temperature for flavorless. nine hours overnight, you will be astonished by how it grows. Can I just put it in there? Like, even if it's cold, or should I leave it? 
Yeah, you, could, you could spit in there. You sure? Yeah. Because now I did the room temp thing and it went doo 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 doo. Oh, it's just to put it in the oven after room temp? I don't know. It didn't really specify. Just put it in there. It's fine. I buy apple turnovers and I put in the fridge and I put in the toaster oven all the time and it tastes just fine. Let's see how it tastes. Well, actually, I can't, I don't get to see how it tastes. Yeah, but. you don't act like you don't. Can I get a bite? 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 <laughs> all right. Today is a special day. Why? Because we got a DJ in the house. Is that that sound? Uh, our pool is getting plastered. Super stoked. We have everyone here in the back doing their thingy thing. And we got a truck over here. Yeah, look at that contraption. So that's not even part of our house. That's just like the mid alleyway. But I think they figured out that's probably the smartest way. So they bought the big old truck, dumping all that material, whatever that material they is. They totally driven it in here, right? Oh, they're putting blue. Did you see that blue? That's the color of the, the, what is it called? The gun night or whatever night? Or no, plaster? I don't know. But they're, don't they're, look at me like I know what the hell. Well, they're putting like blue powder in there. So I think that's probably the flaky flakes. I love that they have a pole there already. Because that's probably all they need the pole for. What pole? The pole that he's, where the trash is going. To keep it from flying. See it? Oh, yeah, where he stuffs it. Yeah. So yeah, he's putting it in there. That tube goes through that gate into the backyard all hands on deck there's like 20 people back here oh and that guy is blowing the guy with the cow the cowboy hat is blowing we got the everything taped up got the jacuzzi got the koozies and then people prepping what does that mean does that mean our pool yeah. is swimmable in like a week maybe even less what who's growling yeah, mean, meanwhile, we got Cooper, the security. Anytime he doesn't recognize anybody, he starts growling. Yeah. Hmm, he's laid right there. Yeah, but what's so cute is he's so little that he doesn't know that he's little and then he looks cute and not scary yet. So how do they build a pool, Taika? I just went outside. Yeah? And what did you see? I saw them build it. Yeah? What's the process? What is that? Process is like a step by step. How do they do it? Did you see them like... Yeah, first they dig that and then, and then they just put some men in there. And then, I, and then they put the cement in it and then I was running and then they hit the hill. <laughs> what are they doing now? Spraying something? Yeah, I was like running in it. The boink! Boink? Well, I didn't see anybody boinking their head. <laughs> Who boinked? Are you sure? That's a different story. I, I ran. No, it's for real. Oh, okay. I had a bump right here. Oh, a long time ago. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then what do they do now? They're spraying, and what do they have to do after they spray it? They smooth it. Smooth it then, out. And then they make it dry, and then they put water and swim, swim, swim. Are you excited to be able to swim soon? Come by myself down to Florida? No, all of us are going to swim together. Mm-hmm. Should we ask your cousins to come again? Oh yeah, remember the I remember the last day when it was my birthday they came. Yeah. And I was swimming. I think I was swimming by myself without anybody holding me. Really? By yourself? Mm -hmm. I, I, I met. I you, did you have a floaty on? No. I don't think you know how to swim yet. I I, used, I remember when I was a little guy. When a little guy, a <laughs> little. Yeah, yeah. I turned backwards and then I did every in a circle and I didn't see anybody holding me. Oh. <laughs> I hope the water like me. Right there. And we do have a, a splash zone, so it's going to be safe. There is a whole middle part of the pool where you don't even need a floaty. Pretty cool, huh? Because we have the water, like, maybe just right there. Right under your nose. <laughs> well, if you put your nose in the water, then you can't breathe. But if it's, like, right there. Well, right here, I'm going to die. 
Aha, so it does look golden brown now. Yep. What's the ver oh, and a book? Oh yeah, baby. Oh, this is a me time right there. As much as I could get it in, I'm gonna get it in. But yeah, I made myself some Jimby Matcha. Mm -hmm. I actually prefer matcha. Over coffee? Yes, I always prefer matcha over coffee, but it just Why? depends on the day. Um, if I'm like really exhausted and I just need something to just get me going immediately, then it's coffee and I always regret it. Honestly, I always regret drinking coffee because one, it gives you the shits. Two, I get jittery. Three, the crash is the freaking worst. And I'm not the biggest fan of the coffee flavor unless it's like super premium quality. And usually if I need coffee, it's because I need it now. So I'm usually making it myself and it's not the best. Um, but I do prefer matcha because it's just a cleaner caffeine source for me. Yeah. And it's a gradual pickup, but it's a constant pickup. I don't get the crash. I don't get the jitters. Um, and then I always like, I'm like, I'll look at the time and I'm like, usually around this time I'm supposed to crash because I'll be used to coffee. Uh, and then I'm like, oh, right. I had matcha and I'm still doing good. There's do no Do you know crash. what the scientific reason is? Um, no, but I have a feeling you're telling me. Because the um, matcha has uh, innate theanine in it. Oh. So it's naturally occurring in the leaf and the theanine regulates how fast your body absorbs caffeine. We have theanine in our pre-workout. Barbell Brigade pre-workout. Yeah, so that, that's, why, that's also why our pre-workout doesn't have a crash. It doesn't have a crash. because yeah, it modulates it. So it lets you slowly receive it and then slowly go away versus like, boom, night and day. Yeah. 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 But so I do, this is my preferred source of caffeine. So today, you it's your day with Taika. So you like got him ready, made him breakfast. And I'm like, oh, I get to chill. Oh, the DJ's back. You're spraying, that means you're spraying again. They're so fast. Yeah, so got these from uh, Trader Joe's. I love an almond croissant, so. Oh, I knew it was gonna have that sound. Oh. Okay, okay, okay. I haven't had any food that had that sound like three Ready? months. Oh my dear Lord. That sounded so good. Is it good? Shut the Holy fuck shit. up. Holy shit. Shut the fuck up, bitch. <laughs> It is so good. Oh, shut the fuck up, you fucking whore. Hold on, I gotta, I gotta grab this real quick. What the fuck? It is so good. I'm gonna say 10 out of 10 would really? recommend. Yep. Damn. Can I have a bite? Hold on, I knew it. <laughs> Peekaboo. What up, cutie? Oh, and you got the yummy brownies. Yeah, he wants to eat that in the car while we go get groceries. So okay, my go. coach, throughout this whole bodybuilding prep, has prescribed me 12,000 steps a day. Because I keep doing a have a can I have a bite? I'm self prescribing fifteen thousand. <laughs> so this is oh actually it's sixteen thousand now. Every day I hit sixteen thousand steps just because I know I'm gonna have these little bites. But it's so worth it and it keeps my sanity. Sanity. I'm eat the side because that's where the filling's at. That's a big ass bite. You ate more than half. No. Ten out of ten, right? Isn't it delicious? Get it from Trader Joe's. This is so worth it. Monkey, you're going to love it. It's really, 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 good. really, 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 really good. Fine. It's a little bit warm though, okay? Be careful. It's a little bit warm. It's crunchy. No, oh, no, 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 don't, no. don't smash it here. Just, it's just no, no, crunchy. No, 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 not delicious. Your eyes don't roll back. It's just all right. Well, probably because he gets to eat that kind of stuff every single day. Do you like it? I like what? Well, you just the croissant. No? I like the one the chocolate inside. Uh, <laughs> well, look at that, Mama. When you got stuff like that every day, it's kind of hard to prepare. All right, all right. I didn't write my name on it. Oh, yeah, no one's going to take it. The, it's yours. But if I lost, I can, if I lose it, I can eat it. Did you brush your teeth? Not in the morning yet. So we just got back from walking the dogs and it looks like they stopped putting the plaster and I think now they're just gonna smooth everything out. Yeah. But just looking at it from here, I don't know if it's finalized, but if it is, it's gonna look so beautiful because I see like very subtle hints of like baby blue in it. Yeah. So now imagine once the water's in there. Ooh, the whole water will just be baby blue. It's gonna yes. be so like serene. Yes. Look Might at even me. look like that guy's shirt. Yeah. Maybe that's why he wore that shirt to let you know. To give me a hint, yeah. like, it's gonna look like me, baby girl. When you swim, think of me, Rodrigo. 
<laughs> what? What's his name? It is crazy how fast they're moving. We barely walked the dogs for like 30 minutes. And look how smooth that is already. Wow. What do you wish you're allergic to? All the vegetables. All the vegetables, why? And then I nailed it and then I said, oh, I was like allergic to junk food and then I, and then I said I, I was like allergic to one, to two vegetables. You know, Papa wishes he was allergic to junk food because then Papa would never be fat. But Papa <laughs> loves junk food so much. Yeah, I like, you look, you look, you look crazy when you're fat. Do you like Papa now where he's more buff or you like when Papa's fat? Like, I like him when Papa's fat. You like him when Papa's fat? Are you yeah. kidding me? Yeah, you look funny. <laughs> he says I look funny when I'm fat. Are you fat shaming me? I'm gonna cancel you, dude. I'm gonna cancel you, bro. What's that? You, be, you better, you're about, you're about to find out. You about to find out, boy. <laughs> so today, I'm heading to LA to film JK News. And every time I'm at JK News, it is temptation galore. There's snacks everywhere. They order, always order the bombest food during lunch. After we film, people are like, oh, you guys wanna go out to eat? So to avoid that, I'm gonna try to pack my own food so I don't make anything, any stupid decisions. So I found a pretty tasty way to still fit my diet. If I get uh, chicken tenders, AKA chicken breast, which is like 20 grams of protein with less than one gram of fat. If I stir fry these with uh, marinara, it's actually pretty good and it doesn't taste like diet food. So I'm getting three pounds because I eat one pound of chicken each time. So I have one for lunch today, one for lunch on Thursday, one for lunch on Friday. So I really got to prepare so I can resist the temptation. And why are you looking at me with those funny eyes? Oh, because I heard the kid joke of like marinara, but it's like, what's the DJ? Like, I don't know. What's like the pizza DJ's name or something? I don't know. I, never? I forgot. Oh, I forgot bless. what it is. I know the punch. Mama with the dad jokes, huh? Can you put this in there? Isn't that crazy? One pound is one meal for me. That's how much protein I have to hit. That is crazy. So I, I eat like two to three pounds of meat every yeah. day right now. This is That's pretty crazy, huh? Yeah, and you're still complaining you're hungry. It's not enough food. So oh. it's just our bittersweet chocolate, milk, and whipped cream. That's it. Thank you. You're welcome. That's your lucky day, mister. Let me try, let me try. Are they giving out samples? Is that what that is? Ooh. If it's a sample, I'm gonna try. Oh, thank you. I love you. You know that I love you more today than any time ever else. The try it is good. It's you good. didn't even try it yet. How do you? I know it's hot. Chocolate. Oh my Jesus! I thought you knew what hot chocolate tastes like. How did you burn yourself? Is that good or what? Because it's hot. Hot chocolate. Hot chocolate. I wonder where you get the attitude from. How did you burn? How did you burn your mouth then? There's a resemblance, an uncanny resemblance between the attitude. Look what I found: sugar-free red raspberry preserves, only 10 calories, and it probably has sucralose. Yes. So it's always a gamble because anything with like that's sugar-free usually has an artificial sweetener, and sometimes they know how to do a good job of hiding it. Sometimes they don't. But everything right now is worth a try because I'm dying. Because unless it tastes like that, where it's true chocolate, true, true dessert, it's, it's melted, it's hot milk chocolate. Yeah, it's delicious. Chickia is hot So there's this keto bread that's actually really, really good. Um, good as in it's good for on a diet, not like it's extremely delicious. But look, one bun is only 16 grams of carbs. So right now, for someone like me, I have about 60 grams of carbs total in a day, which means like a, a really small cup of oatmeal is already 30, so that's half. Then if I can have something like this, that means I get to have two buns. If I don't get something like this, I can only have one bun because usually like one bread is already like 10 to 15 grams of carbs. So I love this that it's so low in carbs because um, I get to make like two burgers which in my brain feels like more filling you know a lot of it's psychological too but yeah i'm getting these bad boys I finished it. so this is how i make my easy peasy chicken get chicken breast right look at that 26 grams of protein under one gram of fat so you can have two servings of that or i'm gonna eat a whole pound so that's a hundred grams of protein with like two grams of fat which is awesome 
And then I buy this specific Barilla marinara sauce. This one's roasted garlic. Look at this, 0 0.5 grams of fat. Again, only 50 calories. And you can use a whole half cup. So this is like almost nothing. It's still, it's almost negligible depending on how low your calories are. Where I'm at now, I have to plug every single thing in um, because like whether or not I plug it in and track it, my weight will fluctuate the next day because I'm, I'm like teeter-tottering right there. So it's really simple. I'm just gonna salt and pepper season, probably do some little Cajun, pour it on there, and then this is three pounds, so which is three meals. When I'm fruit prepping, I like to keep things as simple as possible because it's all about convenience. I'm making mass quantity. No matter how good you make it taste, it's not gonna taste like a cheat meal anyways. So I'm just gonna even just season it in these little containers it comes with so that I don't have to have like a ton of dishes to do. So I just start out with something simple like garlic salt and then depending on how much meat is in each, kind of season accordingly. Some pepper. What I realized is pepper on chicken tastes really good. You know like um, one key to like meal prepping is you want the food to taste as good for as long as possible because sometimes if you're meal prepping you might not you might have this food last like three four five days and having a, a generous amount of pepper it actually makes the chicken taste fresh still um for up to like three or four days like that chicken taste doesn't come out so right here i have a little bit of slap your mama seasoning just to give it a little kick a little bit more like flavor in it mix it up in here Mix it up in here. Oh yeah, you have to, there's like a weird um, tampon in there that soaks up everything, but mix it up. And that's it. Then I just take these bad boys and just dump it. Dump one in there. Dump one in here. And then dump one in here. Then what I'm looking for is right when it gets to like a slight golden brown, I don't want to overcook it and make chicken breast dry because it's very easy. Once it gets to like a slight golden brown is when I throw in the marinara and then I just let it simmer. See? Move it around. And since I was only able to season one side, I might just season the other side just a little bit too. And with the burger patties, I got these keto ones. I mean, uh, burger buns, sorry, I'm low on calories. I have ate nothing today so far besides that coffee that you guys saw. I already prepped my burger patties. Like I said, it's all about avoiding temptation. So I already prepped my burger patties. Uh, this is 96.4. And I'm gonna pack some of this Trader Joe low calorie organic ketchup. See, it's only 20 calories per tablespoon. Um, pop these in here. Probably make little double deckers. So per one bun, I'll have two slices of meat. And this will be like literally just this and just the chicken will be my meals for the next two days. And I think that might allow me maybe even one or 200 calories of wiggle room. So that could be like a rice cake or um, something slightly to munch on like pretzels or something. But yeah, it's going to be rough. But the more I can have my meals mapped out and thought of ahead of time, the more peace of mind I have. And the more peace of mind I have, the less munchies you have because you can stick to plan, you know? Two more, three more weeks. We got this. So now that these bad boys are kind of like medium rare-ish, I don't want to overcook them. It's time to pour the tomato sauce on it because I'm going to let it simmer here for like a good, I would say maybe five minutes and then that should be fully cooked if I put another another jar on it and BAM that's it I had it on a, a medium low simmer for three minutes that's pretty much done I'll keep it here what's cool about stuff with marinades and sauces is the longer you wait the more of the flavor goes into the meat especially when it's something tough like chicken so I'm just gonna let this sit here once it cools down, put it in Tupperware, then I'll pack my chicken, 
meals, my beef meals, and I'll be ready to get on the road. Still got a couple more things I have to do in terms of work, and then, uh, then I'm already packed. So I hate packing day of. So one other trick that I like to do since I travel so much now is I always pack the day before. I hate doing things last minute because that's how you miss things. That's how you're a mess. Like you always see people like showing up at the airport with stuff falling on their backpacks and their cars and stuff. I don't want to be that guy because things could happen, right? Like if you're already getting to the airport in a mess, what if an emergency happens at the airport? You know, like things happen. What if there's a bomb threat or if there's an active shooter or like you... You're not 100% there. So everywhere I go, I like try to be like 100% there. I don't want to show up at a place 75% and then something crazy happens, you know? So my stuff's already packed. That's my gi. Um, I've dedicated myself to doing jujitsu two times a week right now. So even if that means they could all be at my home gym in LA, I'll be, I mean, uh, in Vegas, that'd be awesome. But if not, I stop by Lionheart where Nick trains and I get in some roles there. I've even stopped by Henzo Gracie's in East LA and that was really cool. Just, I don't want to make traveling an excuse i don't want to make not being familiar with the gym an excuse i'm bringing my gi i'm doing two times a week non-negotiable that's it so i already have that packed and ready to go as well the backyard is looking nice little by little look at that i think they're done that's it is it really just ready for water now that looks clean or do they need to put another layer well the truck's gone so i don't think they need to put another layer but i guess now they just fill it up with water but this looks clean so we chose the um is it called pebble tech i think that's the layer between so it goes like concrete then plaster then i think pebble tech and then you fill up with water and we chose one that's going to give a nice like hint light blue so it looks very mediterranean so you'll see everything's like gray, white, and then light blue, and it's gonna be plants all up there, so it'll be all green. It's turning out really good. I'm so glad that uh, they're able to complete that step today before I leave, so that when I come back, hopefully there's water in it. That'd be crazy. Ooh, our hot tub. I haven't had one of these bad boys in a long time. I am so excited. So this is what I'm packing in terms of my meal preps. I got my three meals worth of chicken right here. There's three pounds of chicken. Got all the patties. Got the bread, low calorie um, ketchup. I usually wouldn't travel with condiments. I just don't know if I have time to stop by Trader Joe's because once I get to LA, it's like busy, 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 busy. So I just want to be as prepared as possible. I also found this thing. This is like a ranch style mix seasoning that has zero grams of fat, zero grams of carbs. So I just wanted to taste it. I'll probably sprinkle some of this on the chicken, see if it tastes good, or maybe even on the patties. But put in a um, little cooler in there, putting this here, it perfect, doesn't fit like that. So I probably gotta put this down. Yep, that works. And then that should still be able to close, right? Oh no, I might have to put the patties in a different container. And then I'll put the buns Right here like that and uh ready to go you gonna miss me cooper i don't think so are you gonna miss me monkey man yeah cooper just threw up on he threw up yeah yeah i've got to clean up the bile over there yes, are you gonna miss me do you miss me when i go to la okay and that's it got my luggage my food. Are you really gonna miss me, mister? You big cutie. You promise? Cause you know I always miss you so much. <laughs> Where are you going? Hey, Papa can't leave the door? You big cutie. Are you gonna lock it? Uh oh, that means Papa really can't go. You big cutie guy, I know. It always makes me miss him so much and hurts to leave too. Oh. But yeah, thank you guys for watching me get ready to leave to LA on my bodybuilding prep. So it is one extra layer. It is one extra. <laughs> what are you taking my food? It is one extra layer to have to not just think about your luggage and also my duffel bag. I have to get my gym duffel bag out, but also my 
my commitments like jujitsu and my luggage. Now I have to think about my food, about to do all that. Um, so <laughs> it's all gonna be worth it though. Okay. See you guys in the next vlog. No. <laughs> he keeps taking all my stuff, cutie. <laughs> no. <laughs> what, what, what are you taking all my stuff? What, you big, you big cutie.